Hi everyone, my name is Mark Plant and this is Learning Photography. Hey everyone, this is Learning Photography, a channel basically by me, a extreme, extreme amateur photographer. And what I do within this channel is basically go over different settings, different different ways to take photography as I learn how to do them. So, yeah, I'm, I'm extremely raw, basically. So follow along with me and we will learn together. Okay, so what I'm going to do in this episode is product photography. Product photography is exactly what it sounds like, taking photographs of products for commercial purposes. Two main commercial purposes. Very simple. There is web-based images and there is print-based images. It's very, not much to it. It's, it's really simple. Uh, my experience more with web-based images is they're, they're basic backgrounds. Uh, you want the product to pop out on that web page. Whereas with print based, you want it more in a scene or where it where the scene enhances the product. Uh, very rarely you'll see in print photography a white background or a solid color background. It will always be with some type of accessories around it that bring the product to life. I guess that's the best way to say it. So I'm going to show you two ways a beginning photographer can get high quality shots basically at a very, very minimal price. Uh, it's basically stuff that you have laying around. It's very simple to do. Okay, so what we're going to do here first is we're going to do web-based photography or a product that's to be posted on a web page. So the product that we're going to be focusing on is this little music box. So we're going to take photographs of this for a web page, and we're also going to take photographs of it as if it was to be placed in a magazine ad or some type of print ad. So let's start out. We're going to start out with the web first. All right, everyone, what we're going to do is we're going to shoot some web photography here. Web photography is fairly simple, uh, pretty straightforward. You need a blown out white background. A lot of professionals use what's called the light box. Uh, I'll do a, another video on a light box and a, a later video. Uh, but if you're doing cheap, you know, your, your budget is very minimal, like mine is, uh, there's ways around it. So I'm going to show you right now basically what you need to do. All right, so right now we have an area that I've picked out. It is right basically in front of my freezer, which is cycling right now. Uh, let me put this on a manual focus. Going to be bouncing around on that thing. Um, yeah, that should work. Okay, so what we're going to do is, it's really simple, is we're going to take this card table here, or... TV tray, actually. What we're gonna basically do is put this card table in here. And what I have right now is I have some old sailing tiles. And these work pretty well. So what I'm basically gonna do is gonna put one here. Actually, that one has a divot in it. That might show up in the in the photo, so let's put that to the side. So we put this ceiling tile right like so. Okay. And then we put the other ceiling tile as the back wall. As I walk in front of the camera there. Okay, so Looking at that right now, you're like, how could that possibly be? 
the trick to doing this is in, in your lighting. Okay, so I have an LED light right above. So let's turn that on. Okay, so that lightens up the area just a little bit there. And what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna go over. Uh, Okay, and I have I have my two LED lights. Okay, and these usually work pretty well. And we place them right where the product's going. Oops, I got going backwards. That wouldn't have worked well. Okay, we angle them down where the product's going to be. Make sure that the back wall doesn't fall like that. Okay, so the lights are in place. Let's take the product and put the product right in the center there. But still looking at this, you're probably saying it's still not going to work. So let's move the tripod over. Okay, and let's lower it down. Okay, we'll bring it in. Okay, let's level this. And zoom in on the product. There we go. And let's switch over to a manual focus here. Okay. And still looking at that, it's not bad. Okay, but it's very dark. Okay, let's add some, some light to the product here. Light to the product is what I'm trying to say. So add that. We add that. And what you want to do, you want these lights as bright as you possibly can get them. Okay, I'm turning that up as high as it'll go. So that looks fairly good. Although, the back there, that seam is going to be a problem. So, I have to do something to wedge that up. You, you can get away with a little bit of a seam, but that much of a seam is going to be too much. So, actually, you know what? Rather than trying to wedge that up... Let's move the product over a little bit. Move my lights over a little bit. The camera over. Yeah, that's a lot better. That's a heck of a lot better. So that's how it looks on the LCD monitor. And again, you're probably saying, well, I can see the seam in the back. I'll show you how to, we'll show you how to fix that in a little bit. So, all right, I guess switch the main camera over to photography and we're gonna adjust. All right, so we're in photo mode. So let's... get this exposure really high. Let's change the ISO to 100. Go there. Okay, that's about right. All right. Okay, I'm gonna shut you up for a second. I gotta readjust the tripod. Okay, tripod's all refocused. As you can see, you can barely see the line now. So. Take some pics. Okay, so we've got three pics there. Okay, and what I'm going to do right now is let me change the lens. 
So I'll get right back with you. Give me one All second. All right, so what I did was I switched over to my 50 millimeter lens here. One of my lights just gave out. Are you kidding me? Alright, so that's basically how you do the um, photography for the web. It's fairly simple. Uh, you can do it really cheap. You don't have to go out and spend hundreds of dollars. Be better if you made sure that the batteries were all charged on your, your light. So, yeah. But, alright. That's how you do it. Alright, so that's how we do the web photographs is fairly simple this is like i said photographs on a budget so what we're going to do right now is i'll take you guys over and we're going to go and we're going to take photographs for print so this is a little more in depth takes a little more thought to do let's go i'll show you how i do it all right so what i'm doing right now is i'm setting up for doing a print shot uh with the print shot don't want the clear background. So what I'm going to do is right here, I have my 17 to 55 millimeter lens on my camera. And I switch over to my 50 millimeter lens. So make sure the camera's off. All right, so I put some accessories. You can do more, you can do less, uh, whatever whatever your heart's content on, <laughs> on for this. Um, I'm just doing some basic accessories with the um, product just to show you how it's done okay, and this is how it's going to look I'm gonna focus for the pit and I think I put my finger over the mic there darn it all right so let's take some pictures all right and looking at this what I have there so far, I think I'm too bright. I bring the exposure down and let's change the ISO. Oops, wrong button. Go down to 100. Yeah, I think that's a little bit better. Exposure there, that's it. Let's go here. All right, so if I was doing this professionally, I would have cleared out all the garbage behind and and played with the lighting a little bit more to get it more perfect. But I'm just trying to do this just to give you a general idea. So the next step is to bring the files into your computer and adjust them with Lightroom. So we're gonna go over to the computer right now put the memory card in there and let's see what we can get computer right now let me pop the memory card in here there we go all right let's take a look at some of these jpegs okay. now those came out pretty good that's the for the web shot those look really good switched over to my macbook pro uh, I don't know why it's not, the Lightroom's not working on my iMac, so I'm going to have to fix that or figure out what's going on. So what we're going to do right here is let's go down to the bottom here. We are going to go to Adobe Lightroom. We open here. Okay, so we're going to go up here. And we are going to find those. I put them in vlog. And where are you? Where are you? Learning photo. And let's just select the pictures. Okay, so we go over to that. View for import. Beauteous. All right, let's add those 33 photos. See if this works on this one. There we go, it works beautiful. Uh, let's take a look at some of these pictures. These ones did not come out that bad. The 50 millimeter lens is, is so much better than my 17 uh, to 50, what was it, 17 to 55, I believe. But what I'm looking at right now, I think this is probably going to be my best image. 
And we'll go with this one and let's clean it up. That one looks nice and level. Let's go in here. Let's see what the auto fix. It. Mm. No, I don't like that. It shows too many shadows, so we're going to take that off. We're going to stay with the lighting that I had. Okay, let's bring the contrast up just a little bit. Okay, we'll bring the exposure just a touch. Just ever so little on that. Uh, let's bring up the highlights a little bit. And let's take out the shadows a little bit. Want the whites a little bit whiter and the blacks a little bit blacker. Let's go down. Let's take see what I look like, see what it looks like if I add some more saturation. That's nice. And let's go down here. Let's get some clarity. You see just by just by adding that a little bit there how much that stands out some more. And let's take away some haze. Let's see what it does. Sometimes the haze, yeah, you can see with the haze, you dehaze too much, it's going to throw a lot of shadows. Although with a print photograph, the shadows aren't really a bad thing. Not the greatest thing, but it's not a bad thing. But one thing that you want to add with this, it actually brings out the product even more. So you add a, a little bit of a vignette to it. And then we'll go down here. Let's sharpen it up a little bit. And let's get rid of any sort of noise in the picture. I don't think there's too much in it, but I just want to be careful. Okay, so... Yeah. Uh, I'm going to straighten this out a little bit. It's not really off that much, but I just don't like it. Just very little. Yeah, I think that's a little bit better. Go back over here. Yeah, that looks good. That looks good. Alright, so let's save this puppy. We will save it to... Learning Photo again. Click Save. It is now saving. Okay. That is a huge, huge picture there. Uh, let's see, where did it go? Where did it go? Here we go. Always oh, adds a dash too, so it's the second one. So this is this one here is the original pick, and that's the updated pick. So you can see how much Lightroom. You can make the picture so much better. Uh, I'll be doing a, a tutorial on Lightroom as I get more familiarized with it. Um, but for right now, like I said, this here, this is a perfect, perfect. I like that. I'm, I actually, I'm actually impressing myself on this one. But that, that would be an example of a print photo. And it can be adjusted different ways and such. So... Yeah, it, that, that works for me. So that's the way that I do product shots uh, for right now. I do them, I have a day job where I'm a web designer, so it's one of the ways that I do product shots. There are a lot better ways to do them, but if you're on a budget, it's a nice quick way to do them. So thanks for watching, I do appreciate it. Uh, again, this is Learning Photography. I am a beginner photographer. And I'm showing you guys the stuff that I do as I'm learning how to do it. So thanks for watching. If you like this video, click the, the thumbs up below. If you haven't subscribed already, hit the subscribe button. Hit that bell icon. You'll get a notification anytime I do a video. And I'll be back again soon with another tutorial or another lesson. Thanks for watching.